Its job is to get us more active, and that means everyone. So now Sport Hawks Bay has created a new role of inclusion manager, helping remove barriers to getting people of all abilities off the couch and into sport. People in the disabled community often want to be just as active as people in the, uh, who, are, who are outside that community. We want to support them to be able to achieve their aspirations. That's the, that's the key part of it. It's not our aspirations, it's not the aspiration of the club or the school. It's focusing on what the participant really wants. The new role will be the first point of contact for individuals or organisations and comes at a time when sporting organisations find interest waning. Sports organisations are dealing with dropping uh, membership numbers, participation numbers. They are wanting themselves to investigate what's leading to that, what some of the barriers are, and we're here to help them sort of analyse what those might be and help them to address them. As part of the new initiative, Sport Hawks Bay will be focusing on ways to include and encourage the rainbow community. It came into focus for us last year with a sports organisation that was uh, asking for our help in dealing with a school pupil who was, uh, was transgender and wanting to play in a uh, local competition, so helping that organisation come up with policies to deal with that, taking account of the interests of um, the student involved, but also the um, you know, concerns that uh, parents, coaches, other students might have. Sport Hawks Bay is practising what it preaches, training its own staff to be more inclusive. In doing so, it has become the first regional sports organisation to receive the Rainbow Tick certification. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.